this is where we stayed last night and here's our uh, accommodations you can see in the sun it's already blazing ass hot and uh, we're driving in a heat wave one of the worst heat waves of the summer maybe one of the worst heat waves ever it just pretty much started but man My feet were burning through the floor of the van. I hope the hope our camper can make it. It's a lot to ask. Here's the puppy park. Here's the kid park. And swimming pool. And somewhere is where I'm going for the shower the facilities this is our first time ever visiting Vicksburg Mississippi this is the uh, town where the Union Army laid siege and essentially destroyed the whole town and everybody had to live in caves and were starving to death and when uh, the town surrendered it was the uh, right at the same time as Gettysburg right around July what July 3rd 1863 the South was divided in two, and the South never went as far north as they did. Never invaded the North after. Gettysburg. Well, that's not completely true, but. So it's a very historic town. We're just going to look around and see what's here. Vicksburg Main Street District. Nothing open on a Saturday morning, pretty much. It's an Italian grill. very hilly town which is why it was uh, <clears throat> fortified because it was called the Gibraltar of the West overlooking the Mississippi River which was a major north-south artery for riverboat traffic Vicksburg Civil War Museum <clears throat> Bohemia Cafe and Bakery. Coca-Cola Museum. Sixty-one coffee, smoothies, bagels, etc. Wanna try that? Yes. No? Yes. Luke says yes. Yazoo and Mississippi Valley Railroad Station. That's pretty. The Biscuit Company. And there's a newfangled riverboat there. Vicksburg, Mississippi. This is the old courthouse. And that's the newer, but still old courthouse. 
Art Deco or Streamline Modern. There's the Navi on, everybody slowly getting out for pictures. Ugh. We have discovered here, because Stella rolled right in it and interrupted it, Don't the great you. southern fire ants. They got on everybody. They attacked Jimmy. He started going crazy. Oh, they didn't go on me. And they, Zach was the first one to notice they were on his hand biting him, and Saya's over there. Trying to scrape them off her legs. He's getting tortured. <laughs> Fire ants. Yeah, and it says here this is where they raised the uh, July 4th, 1863. They raised the American flag <laughs> over the courthouse when they ended the siege. And General Grant reviewed his troops here. Also, Jefferson Davis started his political career here. Which is interesting. These little buildings, the cisterns. This one's full of uh, tools and everything. It's got the. Uh, oops. The cistern in it. You can look at it this way. Look at the. The uh, cage in front of it. There's four of these buildings and on the, the grounds here and the other two are bath or two of them are bathrooms. Yeah, underneath these back stairs, oh it's really nice back here. Shady are these little it's creepy back here. tunnels. I think they went under the stairs but they have collapsed. Getting a view of the old courthouse from the new courthouse across the street. What's wrong, Jimmy? Did you ingest a bunch of fire ants that were eating your arms and now you're feeling sick? Those fire ants don't go down so well, do they? Look at some of the details on the newer Warren County Courthouse, which uh, is pretty neat in itself. Yeah, kind of what I thought. Public Works Agency, Franklin D. Roosevelt, President of the United States. Warren County Courthouse, 1940. Place over there. We're inside the Highway 61. Coffee House here in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Minty. Nice little part of town, but ooh, it's so hot right now. We're on our way. Coca-Cola History Memorabilia Museum. Hmm? We had to pass the dog. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, wait, I want to get a picture of that thing over there. <laughs> Hello. Coca-Cola. Say it again. Original Coke. Welcome to Vicksburg. Well, you know, we're leaving actually. Getting ready to get out of here. But last and not least, you know, this was a Civil War battle site. This whole town was surrounded by trenches. So, let's see. 19-inch Dahlgren shell gun. Of the 1185 produced, only 48 to know, are known to exist. It weighs 9,200 pounds, took a crew of 16 to man it. Wow. And out there is the Mississippi. Mississippi River. Look at that railroad bridge, it's pretty interesting. There's the Mississippi River. Like Welcome to Louisiana. Woo!
Where's your GPS? We're here in Greenbrier, Arkansas, which is north of Little Rock, and we are broken down. Our transmission went out. I thought I was hearing some funny noises from it earlier in the heat in Arkansas. So yeah, my, my nightmare came true. And we're waiting on a tow. We initially made it over here to this neighborhood Walmart. And then I went over to uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts and tried to put some transmission fluid in it. Oh yeah, and our stairs decided to come out too. Don't know why that happened now. So now we're here at the Barksdale Federal Credit Union and we're waiting on a tow. They're gonna tow us about a mile away to a campground. And we're gonna stay there for the night and try and regroup and figure it out. I think our best plan is to have my sister come down here uh, 350 miles in our car and pick us up. We're gonna get this towed to uh, a shop here and then figure it out later. And one thing's for sure, it's not gonna be cheap. Seat belts. Seat belts. Put on your seat belts. You got them. Or Jimmy. Oh, this is so much fun! So much fun! So much fun! We are being towed. We are crawling along it. feel very eh, I guess this is okay I should uh, just uh, kick back and go to sleep I hope you guys didn't bring any fire ants with you oh Jimmy's still going crazy back there so I think we probably did well yeah our dog I think Stella again our dog uh, laid in fire ants twice today, so he's discovered the hard way how to deal with fire ants. Full hookups. Big rig friendly. 